Did you know there's a car that laid the foundation for almost every modern vehicle? Yet, it's a name many have never even heard of? Let me introduce you to the Citroën Traction Avant, a car so revolutionary, it forced the entire automotive industry to rethink how cars were designed, built, and driven. The story begins in 1934. Cars were heavy, boxy, and notoriously difficult to handle with rear-wheel drive and body-on-frame construction being the norm. Citroën, however, had a vision. A car that was lighter, faster, and easier to drive. Enter the Traction Avant, which translates to front-wheel drive in French. But front-wheel drive wasn't the only game-changing feature. This car was packed with innovations. For starters, it was the first mass-produced car to use unibody construction. This meant the body and chassis were integrated into one single structure. Why is this important? It made the car lighter, more rigid, and far safer than anything else on the road. At a time when rollovers and frame collapses were common in accidents, the Traction Avant gave its passengers a fighting chance. Its front-wheel drive layout was another jaw-dropper. In the 1930s, front-wheel drive was unthinkable for most automakers. It was considered too complex and unreliable, but Citroën pulled it off, giving the car unparalleled handling for its time. The engine sat longitudinally at the front, powering the front wheels, which not only improved traction, but also allowed for a flat floor in the cabin, providing more interior space and comfort. Under the hood, the Traction Avant wasn't a slouch either. It came with engines ranging from a 1.3-liter four-cylinder to a powerful, for the time, 2.9-liter six-cylinder. The car's low center of gravity, thanks to its sleek unibody design, made it a joy to drive. It was agile, planted, and could corner with confidence, characteristics that most cars wouldn't achieve for decades. But here's where things get really interesting. The Traction Avant quickly became a favorite, not just for regular drivers, but for criminals and freedom fighters alike. Its superior handling, speed, and stability made it the ultimate getaway car. During World War II, it became an unofficial mascot for the French resistance. The car's ability to outrun German patrol vehicles in narrow, winding streets became legendary. Some even claim that the Traction Avant's reliability and versatility helped the resistance in their fight against the Nazis. Yet, the Traction Avant almost didn't survive. Developing such a futuristic car drained Citroën's finances to the point of bankruptcy. In fact, André Citroën, the visionary founder of the company, lost control of his empire shortly after its release. Michelin, the tire company, stepped in to save Citroën from financial ruin. But despite its rocky start, the Traction Avant soldiered on becoming one of the most iconic vehicles of the pre- and post-war eras. Car lovers might appreciate this hidden detail. The Traction Avant inspired many legendary vehicles, including the BMW 328 and even the Porsche 356. Its unibody construction and front-wheel drive system became the blueprint for almost every modern car. You could say that if you're driving a front-wheel drive vehicle today, you owe a silent debt to this French marvel. And the design? Timeless. The long hood, sweeping fenders, and low-slung stance gave it a look that still turns heads today. It's no wonder that car collectors and enthusiasts consider the Traction Avant a masterpiece. So, the next time you hear about the greatest cars of all time, remember the Citroën Traction Avant, the car that wasn't just ahead of its time, but light years ahead. It's a reminder that innovation often comes at a cost, but the impact can last forever.